Hey there guys, I'll be continuing this onslaught of uh, New England Hoppy Airs. New England Hoppy Beers, I'm already drunk. Uh, with uh, looking at Trillium's Melcher Street. Alright, so this is their uh, IPA brewed with Mosaic Hops. And uh, it was canned on March 7th. So, uh, still pretty fresh here. And, uh, what's the 24th? Awesome. Um... I have never had Melter Street. I've had the double dry hop version, I believe. Uh, yeah, quite. No, I've had Melter Street a long time ago, back in 2015, when they were still doing 750 milliliter bottles. I think I've had double dry hopped as well. Um, anyway, this comes in at a 7.2%. So, as I mentioned, this uses Mosaic hops. And uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Mosaic, with Yellow Rose um, being a very popular one here. And uh, Mosaic is very well known for being pretty potent in the uh, citrus aroma flavor and uh, pretty dank. So, beer pours out a pretty big, large, fluffy white head here. I got kind of an aggressive pour, of course. And uh, it's got this deep, murky, uh, kind of an orange like appearance. A little bit dark, kind of murkier here in person. It'll brighten up, though, um, kind of as this. Um, breathes in the glass. Anyway, um, looks smart, nice and hazy. Uh, check out the aroma. Wow. So I haven't had Melcher in quite some time. Right off the bat, noticing this is definitely not as dank as uh, Bright, which I just reviewed recently, and uh, not even Yellow Rose or most Mosaic beers. Getting um, some mango. Um, some guava, maybe some kiwi as well. Definitely getting a, a kind of a nice white grape aroma as well. Very light, um, pillowy malt character underneath it all. There is a bit of pine, just, I mean, almost the slightest hint of a resinous quality, but barely at all. At least so far. I mean, this is really big on the tropical fruit. Um, I'm pulling some some grapefruit as well, um, some navel orange. Yeah, so big citrus, big tropical fruit, some pine there. Um, a little bit grassy. Let's check out the taste. Cheers. Wow. Okay, so that is juicy. Uh, matches the aroma quite well. I'd say a bit more intense with the citrus. Definitely getting more navel orange here. A very, uh, I wouldn't say a sweet grapefruit, but it's not a, uh, I mean, you're not getting any acidity, but it's definitely not on the sort of bitter side, of course, uh, or typically what you would get out of most, you know, I guess traditional IPAs, that grapefruit character. It's definitely a brighter. Um, I wouldn't even go as far as grapefruit. I'd maybe go something with like uh, pomelo or uh, maybe an oogly fruit, which is kind of similar as well. Um, Definitely still getting a bit of the white grape, although more on the aroma. Yeah, definitely more dominant on the citrus. Hint of that white grape. Less mango here. Um, still getting a bit of guava. But the citrus comes out a lot more um, on the flavor. Mouthfeel is spot on, perfect pretty much. Very nice and soft and creamy. Uh, pillowy carbonation, um, just just really really decadent, um, very much like all the treehouse beers that I've had recently. Very very um, light lingering bitterness. It's starting to build up a little bit as I'm drinking this, uh, but still pretty tame compared to most IPAs, of course. Um, very much within the New England IPA realm. Tri uh, Trillium uh, does have a bit. Usually a bit more bitterness than Treehouse, um, size maybe from Bright, um, but this uh, is more along the lines. I think I'd say just a bit underneath um, the bitterness level that maybe Yellow Rose is. Um, it's it's starting to build, but not quite as much as maybe Yellow Rose. Just a bit underneath that. Um, anyway, uh, this is fantastic. I think that God, it's been so long since I've had it, and I really almost don't even remember the double dry out melter either. Um, uh, this is probably definitely my favorite mosaic beer. 
Um, uh, this, this, you know, there's sometimes there are great bottles of Yellow Rose, and this is better than that, even. Uh, and I kind of compared it with Bright and said that you know, Bright was very close to great bottles of Yellow Rose. I've had a couple bottles that have been amazing, even just better than Bright. Uh, this is just up there with those perfect bottles of Yellow Rose that I've had, and probably even a little bit better. Just that intense citrus quality, that very nice bit, uh, kind of light bitterness to it, and the mouth feels perfect. Um, so really this guy uh, for me is I have a verging 4.75. Um, I like tropical. Um, I just I, I prefer certain hot varieties a little bit more than mosaic. Um, but if you're into the citrus, this is the one to uh, look out for. Um, so I'd probably say 4.65 for me. Um, maybe verging 4.7. Fantastic. I really don't know how you do mosaic hops that much better than this. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for Trillium's Melcher Street. Um, so as always, cheers. Um, keep watching. Got some more. Got plenty of uh, New England hops uh, still come, still to come. Um, so and then after we get through those, try to look at maybe some more local beers. Um, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So as always, I will catch you guys later.